guys, Thong here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, we've got a very interesting one for you guys. Me and Thog Dad went our separate ways and both put together our favourite 10 clubs with the best stadiums in Europe. It can be from anywhere and for whatever reason. Looking forward to it? Absolutely. And this just reminds me of how much I'm missing football. Ah, oh, you oh, didn't have to mention it. I wow. know, I know. So should we kick off with 10th place here? Before we do, what's the like target? Oh, even more important. You know what? <laughs> 6,000. Oh, okay. Wow, six yeah. thousand. The last three videos have gone four to five to six. We've smashed all the like targets, so let's hit this six one. In tenth place, I've gone for the Galatasaray Stadium. Okay. The Turk Telecom Stadium. Right. And it was opened in 2011. And you know what? This is just an excuse to talk about my favourite city, Istanbul. <laughs> yeah. But the great right. thing about this is 132 decibels. Do you know what I'm talking about here? No. This stadium recorded the loudest ever crowd roar in the world in 2011. That's how loud the Turkish fans are. It's only a 52,000 capacity, but they've right. sold 48,000 season tickets. Have you ever been? I've been the once. What? Yeah. You've yeah. been? I've never been. I tell you what, when the corona's over, we're going to Turkey, Theo. Definitely. And for my 10th place, I've gone for the new camp, Barcelona. Ooh, yeah. Now, they had to be in my top 10, simply because it's just a legendary stadium. Now, I've been once, we've been, yes. I was very young. The funny thing about that game, they played Espanyol, and Espanyol won 3-1, away from home at the new camp. No one expected that. The story around that, we got tickets from Idol Johnson, yes. Chelsea legend, and Bolton legend, right? Yeah. He came off the bench, yeah. we watched Messi live, who got a goal, but Espanyol won 3-1, it's like, what the hell? I know, and I've got a really big problem with this ground. What is it? Non-alcoholic beer. Shocking. And also, it's got no roof. Let's move on to ninth place. Who have you gone for? I've gone for the Gazprom Arena. Wow. Zenit St. Petersburg. You've gone for Zenit. We've been there, haven't we? We have, and it's a very new ground. It's modern. It feels like a, a bloody shopping centre. It's just so yeah. It's just so modern. It's got a capacity of 68,000. Mm. What I like about it, it's on Krestovsky Island, which is a lovely mm. part of St. Petersburg. The stadium I have put in ninth place for me is Real Madrid's Santiago Bernabeu. Yeah. Now, however, I haven't been there. Again, the Spanish club had to make the list. It's an iconic ground. Real Madrid have just one of the biggest clubs in the world, and or if the biggest. I've never been to a game. And I tell you what, I love Madrid. It's mm. one of my favourite cities. And as soon oh, as this beautiful. lockdown finishes there, we're going, aren't we? I, I'm down for that, Dad. I love Madrid. Let's go. Let's go Real Madrid. Let's go Atletico. Let's bloody go. I don't know. Let's go everywhere. Let's do, let's do a Spanish road trip, for God's sake. Let's Vlogs do it. coming soon. Moving on to eighth place. Right. And I've gone for the San Siro. Have you? It's got to be in everyone's list. What a stadium, which is shared by Inter Milan and AC Milan. Isn't Have you been? been? I haven't, no. Guess who has? Thompson's Me! Been. I've been for the Milan derby and yeah. what a bloody experience. I mean, the interesting thing about the San Siro right. is I love the way it looks. It's quite an old stadium. Right, okay. And it's got this kind of futuristic design and these circular columns. I love the way it looks. Yeah. But you know what? They're going to knock it down soon. They are, and well, it's kind of depressing that they will. I think there's going to be a few more seasons at San Siro. For my eighth place, I've gone for Bayern Munich's Allianz Arena, an absolute oh, yeah. stunning ground from the outside all the way to the inside. Just, um, I mean, I've never been, which is really annoying, so I can't go into more detail, but I've heard the atmosphere is good. They always sell it out, and it's just a beautiful modern stadium, and it had to make the top 10 list. Seventh place, I have gone for the Stade Velodrome, okay. which is the home of Olympic Marseille. Ooh. And this is a fascinating one, because it's an old stadium, right. and originally it was a cycling stadium. That that's, hence that's, the velodrome. That's pretty interesting, that. But it's been, I mean, the French are really good at reinventing themselves, yeah. and over the years, it's it's really been modernised and I love the roof. For my seventh place, I've gone for the iconic Old Trafford. If you don't put this in your top ten, then you, you've got to be a mug because it's uh, it's so iconic. It's the theatre of dreams. It's a beautiful ground. And yeah. even though I'm a Bolton fan, I've still got to put them in there and, and give respect. Adam Bogdan used to be Bolton's <laughs> goalkeeper. Yeah. He saved Wayne Rooney's penalty a few years back when Bolton were in the Premier League playing away from home at Old Trafford. That's a memory that I'll never forget at that ground. I'm going to take a trip down Thogdan memory lane because once I was at Old Trafford and uh, there was loads of Japanese tourists there. Okay. And they were taking photographs of everything, of the ground, of the pavement, of the statues. And they were so busy doing that. You yeah. didn't see Bobby Charlton and walk past one metre away. No way. So I went over to them, they didn't speak a word of English, and I'm like, guys, get your cameras on this man, this yeah. legend of Man United of That's football. That's crazy. Sixth place, who you gone for? I've gone for the Santiago Bernabeu, opened in 1947, 81,000 capacity. Theo, you've already said how much you love this ground. We should go. 
We Simply. should. Madrid and derby, uh, Real versus Barcelona. I mean, right now it's not as good because Cristiano Ronaldo is in bloody Italy. Get back to Madrid, please, because it's a better derby when you're over there, son. You know what they're doing to the <laughs> Bernabeu at the moment? What? A half a billion euro renovation. They're raising the ground by 10 metres, and there's going to be a hotel in there. Five-star hotel with views of the pitch. So they're copying Bolton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Disgrace to yeah. the human race. That, not on a real though, Dad, we're staying there. Yeah, you? yeah. Like, stay there. And you've already... That'd be a great video. Yeah. Staying at the most expensive football pitch hotel. You can pay, lad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My sixth place, uh, we're going to be flying over to Britain, Scotland to be more precise. We're going to the Ibrox Rangers, yeah. and they had to make this top 10 list for me. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit of bias because I've been to see them when they played Braga on a European night, and the comeback was insane, and just kind of the atmosphere was is part of the reason they're really here because it was so special to see. You know, obviously Braga went 2-0 up, and then somehow they scored three goals in quick succession, yeah. and the atmosphere, the Ibrox just completely lifted up. And I love the architecture of Archibald Leach. Yeah, that, I love that front bit. Time for the fifth place, and I've gone to England, and London and a team called Tottenham Hotspur. Wow, a okay. new Tottenham Hotspur stadium that cost a billion pounds. And what I love about this, got yeah. their own brew pub in there. It's that's I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. if you didn't put this in the list and yeah. they have their own brewer in there. I know. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, they copied Dortmund in a bit yes, with, with the did. whole stand, but it's well done and you can't complain with South Stand at Tottenham. It's a great uh, design. I've been a few times on yeah. Champions League nights. They made it as steep as possible, right? So that people could be close to the pitch. And like Theo's just said, they copied the yellow wall. Brilliant. My fifth place is Stadio Olimpico, which is a, an Italian ground in Rome that is home to Lazio and Roma. So we've never been. The way I got to see the ground and the atmosphere was from Josh Fusion's vlog. Now, he's um, a Brighton fan who yes. went to a Lazio game, made a video at the game. Uh, I, I forgot who Lazio were playing, but it was just an incredible atmosphere. The ultras were insane, never stopped singing. Stadio Olimpico, again, it's like San Siro. It's iconic. It's been there forever. And the amount of history that's been around that ground yeah. for two clubs I mean, Lazio have always been a world beater side as well as Roma. Oh my goodness, you're making me miss travel. I want to go to Italy. So in fourth place, I've gone for an English stadium that was opened in 1910 and only cost £90,000 to build. What? Old Trafford. There we go. Yeah. So you've gone for it as well. You, you had can't, to. You can't not. Exactly. It is very special. My fourth place is Celtic Park, obviously home Ooh. to Celtic FC. Another one in Scotland. They both made the top 10 for me. Some people will argue that, <laughs> oh, it's just a bias because you've been there and it probably is. I went there and saw them play Zenit and, and AIK, which was in the preseason. They still sold it out and they dominated and beat them. But especially that Zenit game that we went to, Celtic Zenit, yeah. I think it's just more the atmosphere of that ground and how um, how passionate the fans are. I think that's part of the reason I put it up so high. I forgot what the score was, but they beat Barcelona in that ground too in a European night and Tony Watt scored. It was incredible. Like That stadium has a lot of history. Should we move on to the top three? Let's do that. These are the big ones. Yes. Who have you gone for? Opened in 1957, capacity of 99,000, the new camp. Oh, he's done it. He's gone it's, for it. And it's just special. I yeah. remember how I felt. What was it about 12 years ago when I was in there? The steepness of the terraces, yeah. the sheer number of the people. Unbelievable. This is more than just a club. This is yeah. more than just a ground. It's incredible. So who have you got in third place there? The San Siro in Milan, home to AC Milan and Inter. I, it had to be in there. And let's yeah. be honest, I was there for the derby uh, uh, like <sighs> two or three months ago. And it was just it's special. Milan as a city, the culture is amazing. The food yeah. is brilliant. The culture yeah. there is incredible. <laughs> and they really love their football. The Tifos, there was like three sets of TIFOs over that game. Yeah. You know, loads of smoke bombs, loads of pyro there to stop the game because they couldn't bloody see the pitch. Moving on to second place, yeah. and I've had to go for the Alliance Arena. Wow. And I, I just it. love, yeah, I just love the architecture of this stadium. Oh, I agree. And those inflatable plastic panels. Yeah. And the fact that they can change the colour of the stadium. It's brilliant. From it? white to blue to red. Just like well. the colours of your shirt. I know, I know. There you go. And do you know an interesting Thog Dad fact? Yeah. The police around that stadium have said, hey guys, don't mix the colours. Do you know why? Why? People were looking so closely at the stadium, they were crashing the cars. That's what they like you to think. Yeah. Some German drivers are bloody. <laughs> They're crazy. But you know, when you first got in a car in Germany, looking scared <laughs> shitless. Oh my god. Time to move on to mine. And it has to be Liverpool's 
and field. Oh yeah. And it had to be in there, especially at the moment, because like like I said, I mean, you, you'll never walk alone. The atmosphere is brilliant. There's, of, of course, like they've won a they've won a Champions League. They brought back to that to the ground, and now a Premier League is due, especially with the season beginning. Fingers crossed on June the first. Just how much has been won in that ground over the years? It had to be in this top ten video. Therefore, second place, I think it's fair enough for Anfield and fair play to Liverpool fans. Uh, a very good shout. And that brings us on to our first place. Opened in 1974 at a cost of 200 million euros. What is it? 81,000 capacity. Signal Aduna Park. Wow. And do you want to hear something crazy, Dad? We're I've agreed. also gone for it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> We've agreed on first place. I love that. And and we've both been there. It was insane. Yeah. What's the what's the main thing you like about that stadium, Dad? Well, tell them. I tell you, when people ask me what's the most exciting game you've ever seen, yes. I say to them, Borussia Dortmund three, Leipzig three. That was a great. And game. If you watch that video on yeah. Theo's channel. Oh, look at the smile on my face from start to finish. Yeah. I've got my beer. Yeah. In in the seat in, in the ground. The seat. Yeah. I'm watching the football. You're Theo's watching. Got a yeah. massive hot dog. Yeah. That bit. Yeah. Timo Werner yeah, banging yeah. them in. Yeah. And then Dortmund. I mean, it goes without saying. I mean. At the time, they didn't have Haaland, but they had Sancho and they had um, Brandt, um, Torgan, Hazard. Yeah. I also went back for PSG, uh, the first leg of the Champions League a few months back, and the atmosphere was insane. I watched Haaland live, and I can tell you that man is, he's not a human, he's a robot. He's insane. And Food, the football's back on and Saturday. The football, and yeah, I can't wait. Thog Dad, your like target was 6,000 likes, but will the Thogden army hit it? The Thog Dad army will. Oh, he's gone for it. <laughs> Let's smash 6,000 likes and then let's all go over to Dog Dad's channel, watch his two videos he's posted and subscribe to him too. He deserves it, the lad. Thank you for watching and before we end it, look how cool this oh. is. BGD Ultra's design, your legends. Football's back on Saturday and then the Premier League is due to be back June the 1st. So everything's going up, Millhouse. Please <laughs> like and subscribe. We'll see you very soon with some Bundesliga content. Watch out for it, turn notifications on and we'll see you all later. Bye guys.